Let's write the empirical formula for benzene. We'll also take a look at the molecular formula and then the structural formula for benzene as well. If you look at benzene here, you really can't figure the formula out just by looking at the name. So you just need to memorize that benzene is C6H6. And this is considered the molecular formula. It tells us the number and type of each atom. So C6H6, that's our molecular formula. The problem is the molecular formula, it really doesn't tell how the atoms are bonded together in three dimensions. So we don't really have an idea. They could be bonded together a number of different ways. Those would be isomers. But for benzene, that would look like this. This is the structural formula. And benzene is used so much in chemistry that all chemists, they see this and they know instantly that it's benzene. If we wanted to write the carbon atoms in and the hydrogens, that would look like this. So you can see the carbons where those lines join, and then on the outside we have the hydrogen atoms. This is the structural formula for benzene. The empirical formula, that's the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms. So we're really talking about what is the lowest ratio we can have. Since we have six carbons and six hydrogens, if we divided both of these by six, we'd end up with C1H1. And we don't write the one here by convention. So this is the empirical formula for benzene, just CH. And that's because we have the same number of carbons and hydrogens. That gives us this simplest whole number ratio of CH as the empirical formula here for benzene. This is Dr. B with the empirical formula for benzene. We also looked at the molecular and structural formulas. Thanks for watching.